So, shadow boxing at the rear of the National Gymnastics Arena in Baku, Azerbaijan, is Mirza Zizbek Mirza Khalilov. One of the best three round IBA boxers in the world, the 29 year old from Uzbekistan. And he brings a perfect professional record to the boxing ring. Four fights, four wins, three of them inside the distance. And again, no stranger to IBA Champions Night Boxing. Mirza Khalilov taking his chance in Dushanbe in February when he defeated Luis Rodriguez from Mexico. And that is why he finds himself here challenging for the IBA world title at 57 kilograms over 10 rounds. The 2019 World Championship gold medalist into the black corner, awaiting the arrival of his opponent. Please welcome to the gold corner from St. Petersburg, Russia, Sivalat Shuko! So, Sevalod Shumkov confidently into the National Gymnastics Arena in between the plumes of dry ice being shot up into the night sky here. One of the best sharpshooting boxers in IBA competition. The reigning European Championship gold medalist from the edition in Belgrade in Serbia earlier this year. And last year at the Pumo Arena in his opponent's hometown of Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Saw this man box his way to World Championship bronze over the three-round format at lightweight. Please welcome to the ring IBA Secretary General and CEO Chris Roberts OB. Дамы и господа, нас ожидает главное событие вечера. Десятираундовый поединок за титул чемпиона мира IBA в весовой категории 57 килограммов. International Boxing Association, IBA President Umar Nazarovich Kremlev, Azerbaijan Boxing Federation and IBA General Partner Gazprom presents you the main event of the evening. 10 rounds for the IBA World Champion title in 57 kilograms weight category. And now, sounds for the first time ever, please rise for the official IBA anthem. Дамы и господа, прошу приветствуйте звучащий впервые официальный гимн Международной боксерской ассоциации. Просьба всех встать. Дамы и господа, а сейчас звучат гимны для боксеров. И первым звучит гимн, национальный гимн Республики Узбекистан. And now, national anthem of Republic of Uzbekistan.
Дамы и господа, звучит государственный гимн Российской Федерации. Now the national anthem of the Russian Federation. Итак, Итак, дамы и господа, господа это главное событие вечера. Нас ожидают 10 раундов за титул чемпиона мира IBA в весовой категории 57 килограммов. Представляю участников боя и первым боксера слева от меня в черном углу ринга. Ему 29 лет, рост 169 сантиметров, вес 57 килограммов ровно. Он чемпион Азии, чемпион мира, участник Олимпийских игр. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He went in at 57 kilograms. He's representing Fergana, Uzbekistan. Asian amateur champion, amateur champion of the world, Mirazizbek, Mirza Halila. Его сопернику в золотом углу ринга 22 года. Рост 170 сантиметров, вес также 57 килограммов ровно. Он трехкратный чемпион России, чемпион Европы, бронзовый призер чемпионата мира. In the gold corner, he stands 170 centimeters tall. He is also weighed in at 57 kilograms. Three-time Russian national champion, European champion, amateur world bronze medalist from St. Petersburg, Russia, Sivalat Shumko! Рекомендинка Анар Бабанли, Азербайджан. So there is a quick look at the tail of the tape. Slight height advantage enjoyed by Sevalod Shumkov. Will he be able to withstand the heavy punching of Mirzizbek, Mirza Khalilov? Will Mirza Khalilov be able to withstand the sharp shooting combination punches of Shumkov? An intriguing contest in score in store, scheduled for 10 three-minute rounds for the IBA 57 kilogram world title. We're underway. 10 three-minute rounds in this battle between two of the very best IBA boxers in the world. The man operating out of the orthodox stance, wearing the black trunks trimmed with gold, is Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov, 29 years of age, from Kuba in Uzbekistan. 2019 World Championship gold medalist is Mirza Khalilov. Asian Games gold medalist from the edition in Jakarta. Continental champion as well. As the man wearing the white trunks trimmed with gold, he too comes to the ring as the reigning continental champion. Having taken European title success, he gets through with a corkscrew left hand. Took that European title in Belgrade earlier this year. World Championship bronze medalist in Uzbekistan. 
last summer at the Humo Arena. And these two have had plenty to say in the lead up to this contest. Oh, that's a cracking right uppercut left hook from Shumkov, who has found his range immediately and is razor sharp in the first half of this opening round. There's a Khalilov coming forward behind high held gloves, but the volume and the accuracy from Shumkov is seeing those defenses penetrated, and you can see that there's a reddening just on the bridge of Mr. Khalilov's nose already. He scored with a single right cross over the top. He comes back with a jab, but in between those two shot successes, combination successes for Shumkov. Remember this contest scheduled for 10 rounds, so plenty of twists and turns one suspects yet. And it is always the case when dealing with a blisteringly quick sharpshooter like Shumkov. Speed is a quality that often dissipates. Will he be able to maintain this type of sharpness, this type of intensity for the duration of the contest, if indeed it goes that long? In the, me in the meantime, in the early stages, can Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov deal with this rapid fire combination punching that is being demonstrated such as in that little cameo there from Shumkov beautiful lead left hook around the rear of the right glove followed by a two shot combination and another left uppercut through the middle from Shumkov effective defenses on that to repel that combination from Shumkov erected by Mother Khalilov who's continuing to pursue his man Beautiful three-shot combination once again, then dropping down to the body from Shumkov. And seeking to remain defensive, res defensively responsible is Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov, but look at how his defenses were penetrated on that forward foray from Shumkov. There, there was good movement in the pocket from Mirza Khalilov and a sporting touch of gloves to conclude the round. So a very good round of boxing in this open-up scheduled for 10. I happen to think that Shumkov did enough to take that first round. Remember, we will have three scoring judges using the 10-point must system in the event that we go to the scorecard. If there's a clash of heads, the cause is about to be stopped and it occurs before two rounds have been completed, then the bout will be declared a no contest. And again, that's something that was explained to me by the IBA technical delegate, Mark Williams. Rules not yet set in stone, they're still being tweaked and fine-tuned, but as things stand, it's before two rounds, the completion of two rounds, when it will be a no contest. Thereafter, it will go to the scorecards. So into the second round we go. Sevalod Shumkov starting, starting this one very quickly indeed, finding his range practically from the opening bell. But Khalilov not discouraged. The two men looking for left hooks. There's a Khalilov remaining concentrated. Beautiful counter left hand, but then a left jab from. Shumkov, but then a left that jab came back from Mirza Khalilov. Shumkov looking for left-right combination success. Beautiful left hook sunk into the body. Left uppercut attempt, att attempted by Shumkov, but couldn't quite find the mark. Mirza Khalilov quick, quick, quickening his feet now. And seeking to pin Shumkov near the ropes. He was hip to that and got back to the space of centre ring. As both men continuing to demonstrate wonderful movement in the pocket. Flashy left uppercut attempted was a lead shot by Shumkov as he's continuing to snake out a left jab. Both men incredibly sharp and bustling away to the body, perfectly entitled to do so. Was Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov. Wonderful recognition, getting Shumkov to hold his feet by pinning him in a black corner as he comes back with a roundhouse right. And Shumkov. Well, just touched up downstairs there. Oh, that's a beautiful right hand over the top from Mirza Khalilov. And it bent Shumkov sideways. But he's keeping his wits about him. Continues to remain sharp in his movements as he comes back with a roundhouse right of his own. But Mirza Khalilov, as we suggested that he needs to, 
dealt with the sharp shooting successes in the first round and he's coming into this contest more in the second landing an eye catching overhand right which bent several odd Shumkov to the side both men just catching the gloves of their opponent there's a beautiful left hook around the corner followed by a stiff potent left jab from Shumkov but Murazizbek Muzakhalilov having his own straight shot successes then digging down to the body the right eye of Shumkov reddening as there's a Khalilov looking to walk, walk his man down, get into the ropes and look to tee off to the body once again. Not getting greedy after a success on the ropes is Shumkov moving off, keeping an eye on that right eye, which is reddening by the second. And then a right hand over the top again from Mirzizbek, Mirza Khalilov. Beautiful left hook to the body during the course of that exchange from Mirza Khalilov. And the men trading misses just before the sound of the 10 second clapper. This one heating up in the second round. Mirazizbek Mirza Khalilov with a terrific response in round number two, having his own successes. And again, there's another respectful touch of gloves. At the end of the three-minute stanza, what a round of boxing, my goodness. Of the action from round number two. Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov taking that stiff left hand from Shumkov, but then how about that for a right hand over the top? Shumkov attempting the layback, but was caught on the way out, bending him over as he was near the ropes. So we move into round number three, the IBA World Championship title at 57 kilograms on the line. And again, the IQ being demonstrated by both of these boxers off the charts. Shumkov, oh, beautiful boxing off the back foot with his back near the ropes from Shumkov. Seemingly pinned near the neutral corner, but managed to find a way out and anything but running, serving up a sharp shooting combination and then thereafter, just rendering Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov inaccurate. But then a hard right hand followed by a left hook from Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov. Catching Shumkov as he came square on the ropes. And this contest continuing to take on a terrific two-way nature. Overhand right was reached for by Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov, but it was inaccurate, as was the follow-up backhand. Skitting effectively clockwise to his left is Shumkov. But Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov continuing to demonstrate quick feet in his pursuit of the man from Russia. Bobbing and weaving in the pocket before uncoiling with a left hook. Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov nicely put the knees from Shumkov to cause the jab to go over his head. Nice pullback demonstrated by Mirza Khalilov, but he couldn't evade the follow up symbol which came in his direction. Here's a slapping left hand landed by Shumkov as he skits off the ropes, counter. Skips off the ropes clockwise once again. Right uppercut and a hook landed by Shumkov, who now changes direction counterclockwise. Terrific movement being demonstrated and every inch of the ring being used by Sevalod Shumkov. Exchange of jabs with so both men have their heads pushed back. Double jab, right hand over the top from Mirzizbek, Mirza Khalilov. And again, Shumkov. Just feeling his back touch the ropes and he catapults off them once again. Hard right hand slung into the body by Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov. Countered by a left hook downstairs from Shumkov. Beautiful left jab off the back foot, approaching the black corner from Shumkov. Check left hand was an effective shot as Shumkov was able to spin off the line. Sharper left jab during that exchange, evidenced by the man in the white trimmed with gold. Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov continuing to pursue his man. Beautiful left jab without reply and another jab 
during the course of that coming together from Shumkov. He rendered the work of Mirzis Bet Mirza Khalilov inaccurate twice. And again, razor sharp reflexes being demonstrated by Shumkov. I'm not quite sure whether that was showboating, sticking his tongue out, or he was just playing with his gum shield with his tongue. And again, holding up the hand to feel that, to demonstrate that he feels he's got that second round in the book. What a round of sticking and moving produced by Sevalod Shumkov during the course of that third frame. Some of the action from round number three, uppercut. While sliding across the rope, produced by Sevalod Shumkov. So we move into the fourth round of what has been a contest of incredible speed, skill and ring craft so far. Fantastic jolting jab off the back foot, followed by a corkscrew right hand from Shumkov. As Mirza Zizbek, Mirza Khalilov continuing to press. But he's finding Shumkov very difficult to catch cleanly. And again, making his man miss by millimeters, such as the head movement of Shumkov. Jolting left jab scored once more from Shumkov, but Mirziz Bet Mirza Khalilov reaching for that backhand during the course of his two fisted assault. 29 years of age, Mirziz Bet Mirza Khalilov, and he was saying in the build up to this contest that he's been in boxing for 20 years. Flashing left hook just glances the jaw. And then a left hand to the body. Both of them coming from Mirziz Bet Mirza Khalilov. The first left hook to the jaw, the second one to the body said that his whole family is in boxing. He said that his brother was his first coach. And he first entered boxing because he was a bit of a troublemaker by his own admission. Miraziz Bek, Mirza Khalilov, getting into street fights, looking for trouble, finding trouble. And his parents said, well, hold on, seeing as you like fighting so much, let's take you to a place where you can do it properly. Said at first, he just did it to protect his family, but now, He's one of the very best in the world and continuing to showcase his skills here on Champions Night, on the Champions Night stage in Baku, Azerbaijan. Left-right combination again from Shumkov, who is again not running, but giving his man angles during this demonstration of what is predominantly back foot boxing, but then occasionally he'll hold his feet, uncoil a combination before picking up the back foot Skill set once again. But it's Mirzis Bet Mother Khalilov scores with a jab on an upward trajectory from his belt line. And another jab, reaching for a treble jab. And a right hand just seemingly dipped the knees of Shumkov. He intelligently spins off the ropes and gets back to centre ring. Comes back with a left right combination of his own, followed by a right hand. And again, nodding in his di the direction of his man as he scores with another two shot combination in between the gloves. Roundhouse right to the body from Shumkov. And this is terrific two-way action in the centre of the boxing ring with half a minute remaining here in the fourth round. Shumkov continuing to land with pot shot successes as Mirzis Bek Mother Khalilov invariably seeking to get on the front foot as just trying to prize man's defences open was Shumkov. He then disengaged, went walkabout. Mirzis Bek Khalilov didn't pursue him as if to say, come on, I'm right here in centre ring, meet me. As the two men exchanged jab twice in quick succession. Switching southpaw now is Shumkov. Now he's back in the orthodox stance and lands with a left hand to conclude round number four. Another action-packed stanza of non-stop punching and incredibly high skill between these two operators.
fantastic right uppercut off the ropes, landed by Shumkov, and then able to slide away to his left. Glancing left hand during the course of that attempt to trade off Mirzizbek, Mirzakhalilov, always looking to uncoil his own offense. But the two men trading misses during that attempt at coming together. Yeah, round, round five. So into the fifth round, and it's Mirza Zizbek, Mirza Khalilov out onto the front foot. Success behind his jab, and then followed it up with a right cross. And again, using that lead left hand effectively in the first 15 seconds of round number five is Mirza Zizbek, Mirza Khalilov. And again, the pace and tempo that these men are setting is notable indeed. Busier jab from Mirza Zizbek, Mirza Khalilov once again. Shumkov coming back with bent arm successes during that coming together. Shumkov notably holding his feet a little more in this fifth round compared to the previous round. And as I say that, he just increases the gap once again and uses the space of the ring operating on the perimeter, circumnavigating the rope square both clockwise and now counterclockwise. But he began the round by holding his feet and meeting Mirzid Bek Khalilov in center ring. Mirzid Khalilov reaching for an overhand right and then scores with a snappy, sharp jab. There's the man from Uzbekistan wearing the black trunks trimmed with gold. Right hand came on a downward trajectory from Shumkov. Oh, terrific three shot combination. Follow ended by a corkscrew left and then right hand over the top. But then a right hand off the back foot from Mirzid Bek Khalilov. Then two left hooks dug into the body while Shumkov was trying to disengage. Was he hurt by that single shot success upstairs? Because Shumkov was looking to get away from the incoming fire. That left hand was low, but Shumkov, again, up on his toes, trying to maintain a gap between himself and his opponent, looking in the re direction of the referee, Mr. Anor Babanli of Azerbaijan. And these perhaps appear to be difficult moments being endured by Shumkov because he was hit hard upstairs and then tested to the body by Mirzizbek Mother Khalilov around the midway stage of this fifth round. Mirzizbek Mother Khalilov not being distracted by the mugging and the gesturing from Shumkov, but Shumkov again, I think he's been hurt and hasn't yet recovered because he's continuing to disengage and not let his hands go with the same regularity as he was earlier in the contest. Left hook to the body, right up cut through the middle from Shumkov, but continuing to pursue him with his grim advance, is Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov. And now, Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov just looking to invest in body shots in a bid to get Shumkov to hold his feet once again. Digs another right hand just above the belt line and a left. Shumkov disengages, remaining sharp. There's a good left hand beneath the right elbow of Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov from Shumkov. Nice sharp shooting with straight punches from Shumkov, but countered by a body shot. And there's another leaping left hook. Terrific round produced by Mirzizbek Mother Khalilov. And this one incredibly tight after five completed rounds. We're at the halfway stage, and it's a nip and tuck affair in this battle for the IBA 57 kilogram championship of the world. Some of the action from round number five. Right hand successes from Shumkov. And that right jab actually coming when his feet were momentarily in a southpaw stance. But Mirzizbek Merli Khalilov, as a Khalilov set about him, hurt him with a hard single upstairs and then had success to the body. And for the final half of the round, it was Shumkov seemingly seeking to disengage and remain out of harm's way. Шестой раунд, раунд сикс. So we move into the second half of this IBA World Championship bout. Five rounds completed, a potential five rounds to go. And the pattern that was established in the early stages of Mirazizbek Mirza Khalilov on the front foot, stalking his man. Whereas Zevolod Shumkov using the space of the ring and looking to pot shot and sharp shoot his way to eye-catching successes. 
right hand before changing direction from clockwise to counterclockwise. Landed by Shumkov, but Mirzizbek Muzakhalilov comes back with a right cross through the middle. Beautiful right hand landed during the course of that exchange by Shumkov, but it was countered immediately by Mirzizbek Muzakhalilov. Nice movement in the pocket by the man in black from Uzbekistan. Exchange of jab before Shumkov's straight punches were off the mark. And it's another pulverizing left hand shot out by Mirzizbek Muzakhalilov. Right hand, left hook, and he just caught Shumkov as he was looking to dip at the knees. And that exacerbated the effect of the punch. Good, good double right hand. Head, then body from Shumkov. What a right uppercut, left hook, followed by a right hook before disengaging clockwise to his left. Beautiful portion of the round from Shumkov. But Mirzizbek Muzakhalilov always seeking to press the action and remain on the chest of Shumkov. Beautiful left hook sunk into the body. But referee, Mr. Anar Babanli, saying that the punch strayed low, but he really got leverage on that shot, dipping to his left and sinking it in beneath the right elbow of Shumkov. And again, this one being fought at a pace that is scarcely believable deep into this sixth round. Big swing and a miss with the left uppercut, but he did score with the right hand, and there is a low left hand to the body from Mirzis Betma, the Khalilov, it was on the blind side of the referee, momentarily doubled over Shumkov, who is then caught by a left hook and another left hook as he bombs over the top with the right hand, the man from Russia. My goodness, this is terrific two-way action, deep into round number six, 40 seconds remaining. Left hook success to the body once again from Shumkov, and another one on the belt line, excuse me, from Mirzis Betma, the Khalilov, and another one on the belt line of Shumkov. Trace of blood leaking from the nose of Mirzizbek Muzakhalilov here now. Looking to bob and weave his way away from trouble. Is Shumkov, and again, just trying to showboat and discourage his man, get inside his mind. But Mirzizbek Khalilov knew too long in the tooth to be distracted by such antics. Beautiful left hand. Heads come together on the inside. They clash forcefully. And that is why Shumkov just wiping his brow as he makes his way back to his black corner. My goodness, another pulsating round. In a three-minute stand-up where high skill was in evidence. Shumkov trying to bob and weave his way out of trouble on the road, but caught by that first left jab. Meza Khalilov keeping the attack going. Round seven underway. Oh, that's a terrific left jab at center ring, landed by Shumkov. See that considerable blob of petroleum jelly on the left eyebrow of Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov. Cut wasn't discernible beneath those dark eyebrows as he reaches and lands with a right roundhouse right to the body. The damage to the nose, leaking blood once again on the face of Mirzizbek Muzakhalilov. Good left hook to the body from Mirzizbek Muzakhalilov once more, turns it into a left hook upstairs. Hashumkov just being pushed back towards the ropes once again, but he's continuing to dodge and dart left and right, showing genius angles, ankles and wonderful lateral movement. And then making his man miss before scoring with a counter left jab, Shumkov. And 
for all the skill and sharpness in evidence. Of the oh, what a left hook landed by Mirzid Bekmurza Khalilov. And just looking to disengage and allow his head to clear is Zevalod Shumkov. But Mirzid Bekmurza Khalilov sensing his man's discomfort and steps on the gas to pursue him once more from one side of the ring to the other. But Shumkov showing some punch resistance, some toughness and some conditioning because he's still in there, not only pitching and competing, but he's having success with combinations off the back foot of his own. Good left hand to the body, then a left hook to the head from Mirzid Bek, Mother Khalilov. Sharp shooting jab once again from Mother Khalilov, who's quickening his feet and walking his man down relentlessly. Shumkov continuing to use every available inch of the squared circle of the boxing ring. But Mirzid Bekmurza Khalilov will not stop pursuing him. Oh, right hand dips the knees of Shumkov. Shumkov practically sitting on the second from bottom rope and ignoring the discomfort of that damaged nose is Mirzid Bekmurza Khalilov continuing to press despite his face being turned into a crimson mask because of the blood from that nose injury that is being smeared over it. Sharp shooting left jab is a successful shot off the back foot from Shumkov. Right hand over the top and then a right hook to the body. The right hand over the top came from Shumkov. The hook to the body came from Mirzid Bek, Mother Khalilov. And Shumkov has lost his footing once again after, after Mother, Mother Khalilov was teeing off. Left jab off the back foot from Shumkov. Low blow slung in with the left hand from Mother Khalilov. There's the 10 second clapper. Shumkov has been put under sustained pressure during the course of this round. There he is, still scoring with that rapid fire left jab. My goodness, what a round of boxing in that seventh frame. БК Милбет дважды признана самым надежным букмекером по версии премии рейтинг букмекеров 2022 и 2024 и является титульным партнером Милбет первой линии. There was the left hook landed by Mirzis Bek Mirza Khalilov. A solid shot. That check the chin of Shumkov. Thereafter, he was on the back foot for the majority of the round, but make no mistake, he was competing right up until the final bell. Round A. So we move into the eighth round. Mirzizbek Mother Khalilov with a terrific run of momentum in recent rounds. His front foot pressure paying dividends. Shumkov in the contest, but there he scored a punter, both body and head once again. Shumkov planting his feet in the canvas momentarily, having success upstairs and downstairs. But Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov simply will not leave him alone. There's another double left hook to the body. As Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov seeking to grind his man down deep into this contest. Single pot shot without reply from Shumkov, but again, he's spending an awful lot of time on the back foot. Back foot boxing, an art in itself, of course, but it can be construed on occasion that it's the man who is the aggressor, the pursuer, who is seeking to make the contest. And sometimes, sometimes, don't think it's the case here, but the man who's on the back foot can be accused of trying to nick it rather than trying to take the contest, take the title. And Shumkov just got himself a little bit disorganized and literally legged it away from trouble, turning his back on his opponent, on his opponent, which is illegal, of course. But the familiar pattern continuing here in round number eight at the halfway stage. It's Mirziz Betmother Khalilov on the front foot, Shumkov on the back foot, but still making his man miss on occasion and then countering with straight shots to make him pay. The forecast that Shumkov lands with a single shot. The forecast that he predicted, and indeed which Mirzis Bet Mirza Khalilov anticipated, is unfolding before our very eyes here on this magnificent Champions Night stage at the Azerbaijan National Arena. But it's Mirzis Bet Khalilov, Mirzis Bet Mirza Khalilov, who is showing 
no dissipation of his work rate. And to be fair, I posed that question earlier in commentary as a roundhouse right of the Czech variety land from Shumkov. There's been no dissipation of his speed as the two men land jabs simultaneously. There's another left jab for the final word in that at exchange of straight shots from Shumkov. Shumkov, Shumkov making his man miss. Good single right hand to the body. But he's clocking up an awful lot of mileage on his pugilistic odometer. The manner in which he's circ manner in which he's circumnavigating the boxing ring both clockwise and counterclockwise. More hook success to the body from Mirza Khalilov. Oh, goes for that left hook downstairs once again. Really is leaning over to his left, dipping at the knees and coming up with terrific leverage on that shot. Right hand to the body attempted by Shumkov. Tries a left hook upstairs, but both shots were repelled by arms and elbows of Mother Khalilov, who then uncoiled the left hook of his own with Shumkov near his own corner. Another terrific round of boxing with Mother Khalilov, the aggressor. Shumkov playing, seeking to play Matador, but not making his man miss as often as he would like. Another fantastic round of boxing deep into this contest for the IBA Championship of the World at 57 kilograms. So six minutes scheduled to remain in this contest for the IBA Championship of the World at 57 kilograms. And Mira Zizbek Mirza Khalilov, despite a damaged nose and a left eyebrow that may have a cut hidden beneath it as well, he is continuing to go after his man. With Shumkov, despite being hurt by single shots upstairs and some effective sustained body attacks, is retaining his razor-like sharpness. But again, it is Mirza Zizbek, Mirza Khalilov, whereas in the early part of the contest, the sharp shooting back foot success that were often re without reply from Shumkov, now increasingly, they are trade-offs. And occasionally, it is Mirza Zizbek, Mirza Khalilov, who is able to pin Shumkov on the ropes and land effective eye-catching combinations. Jab attempted off the back foot from Shumkov. The cluster of punches which followed were inaccurate. And the accuracy from both men in this ninth round approaching the halfway stage has just dropped a little bit. That perhaps not surprising given the extent of their endeavors to this point in the contest for the IBA Championship of the World at 57 kgs. Good left hand turned underneath to the body from Miraz Izbek Mirza Khalilov. And the conditioning of these boxers is commendable indeed. Both men said that they prepared admirably. Beautiful pot shotting off the back foot from Shumkov and then able to get the right glove up to the temple to repel the incoming left hook from Miraz Izbek Mirza Khalilov. But Mirza Khalilov, again, looking to stay on the chest of Shumkov. Shumkov being backed up but he's not running, he's attempting to give his man angles and occasionally hold his feet and fire out a fusillade of straight punches. <laughs> left hook not too far away off the back foot from Shumkov. Left-handed driven into the body with a palm turned upwards from Mirazizbek Mirza Khalilov. And the intensity uh, this contest is being fought at. It's positively visceral. Right hand followed by left hand success off the rope from Shumkov. The attempted follow up was inaccurate. Courtesy of good head movement from Miraz Izbek, Mirza Khalilov. Now he's putting on the earmuffs, repelling the incoming hooks, being slung in by Shumkov. 
Both men defending effectively, and again, the accuracy just dropping a little bit compared to what we have seen in the preceding eight completed rounds, and both men landing heavy shots on the bell. My goodness. A final humdinger of a left hook from Sevalod Shumkov. Just checking the boxing stance of Mirazizbek Mozakalilov. Hard hitting action throughout the stanza once again. So both men were up off their stalls early to answer the bell to begin round number 10. Each showing the man that despite the punishment that they have absorbed, that they are still up and ready for the fight. And it's a start, sharp start to the round of back foot boxing from Shumkov. There is his back, Khalilov finding his head pushed back and then made to miss as he launched a single right hook, left hook to the head, did score with a right hand to the body. Leaping left hook is rendered inaccurate once again by Shumkov, who is maintaining a gap between himself and his advancing opponent. Good right hand to the body beneath the left elbow of Mirza Khalilov from Shumkov. And Shumkov, the busier boxer in the first 50 seconds of this final round. It's an incredibly tight contest thus far, very little in it. And again, fundamental philosophical question regarding the sport of boxing. Do you prefer the front foot pressure of Mirza Khalilov or the back foot sharpshooting of Shumkov? It's an incredibly tight affair and Shumkov quitting himself well in this final round. But Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov continuing to pursue us, looking to launch a right uppercut was Shumkov. Right hand to the body, then changing direction, landed with a left hook to the body, followed by another right hand downstairs. And at the halfway stage, it has been a very good first half of the round by Shumkov, who is continuing to pepper his man with straight punches upstairs. But continuing his pursuit, but running into a left hook, right cross combination, is Shumkov, is Mirzizbek Mirza Khalilov. And again, the sharpness being demonstrated by both boxers as Shumkov again contemptuously sticks his tongue out in the direction of Mirzizbek Bekmurza Khalilov. But Mirzizbek Bekmurza Khalilov lands with a pile driving right cross before a burst of shoe shine punches to the body. And another left hook lands downstairs from Mirzizbek Bekmurza Khalilov. Beautiful three shot combination ending with a left hand from Shumkov. Both men letting their hands go as a rapid fire left hook checks the chin of Mirazid Bekmurza Khalilov from Shumkov and another one. Gunshot of a left hook cracks home from the man from Russia wearing the white trim with gold. Terrific sharp shooting in evidence from the reigning European champion. Good left hook to the body followed by a right hand. Then a two shot combination upstairs followed by a left hook and check right hand from Shumkov who spins off the line. This is terrific work from Shumkov. Answers Meza, does Meza Khalilov with a left hook to the body. Closing 20 seconds of what has been an utterly absorbing, pulsating final round. Right hand over the top and touching down is Shumkov, my goodness. And again, a contentious show of the tongue from Shumkov. But make no mistake, I think that right hand hastened his trip to the canvas. It was an absolute belting overhand right from Mirzizbek Mother Khalilov. What a contest, my goodness. Non-stop punching from opening bell to last. Receiving a generous round of applause from the CEO and Secretary General of the IBA, Mr. Chris Roberts, OBE. And that was a contest between two men whose styles gelled beautifully to produce a bout of the highest skill and of incredible intensity that had to be seen to be believed. We are going to the judges' scorecards, and which way is this one going to go? Our scoring judges are Mr. Valery 
Pastuhov of Moldova. We've got Veronica Zooks of Hungary and Miss Maria Petkovic of Serbia. It is their verdicts that will determine the outcome of this contest because we have gone through to the final bell. And there is very little between these two men. My goodness, the front foot pressure of this man, Mirazizbek Mirza Khalilov, the sharp shooting back foot successes of Zevalod Shumkov. For what it's worth, I can't separate the two. But the important verdicts are those of the ringside judges. And which way is this one going to go? It could well be split. But irrespective of the outcome, it has been incredibly close and worthy of the mantle of the IBA world title that awaits the victor. Mr. Alexander Sadokov is in position. Here's the verdict. Дамы и господа, после 10 выдающихся раундов, единогласным решением судей победу одержал и стал чемпионом мира IBA. After 10 rounds, the winner by unanimous decision and IBA champion of the world from the gold corner. And it is Shumkov. Sevalod Shumkov declared a unanimous decision victor at the conclusion of an absolutely pulsating affair of non-stop high skill action over 10 three-minute rounds, and it means that Sevalod Shumkov is the new IBA champion of the world at 57 kilograms, about worthy of the world title status attached to it. And it is Shumkov who has been declared a victor on points. Very little between he and Merezizbek Muzakalilov for my money. But it is the man from Russia who has been declared a unanimous points decision winner. But we should not take away from the outstanding contribution made to this pulsating bout by Merezizbek Muzakalilov, who played his part in what was an absolutely and utterly compelling contest. Non-stop action from opening bell to last. Shumkov, sharp shooting off the back foot. Mirazizbek Khalilov, aggressive aggression, effective aggression over the front foot, taking it to his man. But in the last couple of rounds, the turnaround produced by Zevalod Shumkov, perhaps, perhaps crucial in him being declared the victor. For what it's worth, I had it deadlocked at five rounds apiece, courtesy of that late contest rally produced by Zevalod Shumkov because the front foot pressure of Mirazizbek Mother Khalilov in the middle round was notable and indeed unrelenting. But it's the Sevalod Shumkov, who is the newly minted IBA champion of the world in the 57 kilogram division. What a contest and what a conclusion to this IBA Champions Night event here in beautiful Baku, Azerbaijan. Дамы и господа, наш турнир IBA Champions Night подошел к концу. Мы благодарим всех и каждого, кто был сегодня с нами. И говорим вам, конечно же, не до свидания, а до очень-очень скорых встреч. Спасибо! Спасибо, Баку! So, Mr. Alexander Sadokov has wrapped up the proceedings for the crowd in attendance here at the National Gymnastics Arena in the Azerbaijan capital. And we will leave you with images of the moment of confirmation, which saw Zevalod Shumkov declared as the new IBA champion of the world in the 57 kilogram division.